Hey, it's Phil Simon, and I wanted to show you some of the functionality in Racket Hub. Say that I am researching a book on remote work, and I found an article that I think is really interesting, Remote Work Statistics from Forbes. So I think that this would be beneficial to my book, maybe in Chapter 2. So I'm going to click here. I'm using the Brave browser, but you could do this with Chrome, Safari, Firefox, pretty much anything you want and I'm going to hit save page. And if I wanted to open up in Notion, I could here, but I don't want to do that quite yet. Um, let's say that now I've got another article here uh, from Inc. Skills Powering the Future Remote Work. Let's say that I want to use this one. So I will click again the tracker here and maybe I want to change the title a little bit, but in any event, I'll just hit save page. And again, I could open up with Notion, but I'm going to instead of using the web browser version, use the desktop version. So if I go here into the data, I've got here the two articles that I've just added, the one from Inc.com and the one from Forbes. Let's start with the one from Forbes. Uh, since this is data oriented, I'm going to want to select that category, but business is the major bucket here. Clearly, I've not integrated it yet. And I believe I said I wanted to put this in chapter two. Uh, this links to a separate Notion database in the chapter tracker one. So if I make a change there, it's reflected here. I don't have to worry about um, cutting and pasting or things getting out of sync. And then before I said for the type, it seemed to be data oriented. So I'm gonna select data set and boom. I have now put that more information around that. That will certainly help me when I start to get into that particular chapter. Now, before I categorize the Inc. article, I'm just gonna add a new one. Maybe I did an interview with the CEO of a company and we did it over Zoom. Now, I'm going to intentionally here, if I go down to type, pick interview and just hit enter. Now, I put here that I've interviewed a CEO, but I'm not uploading a file here to the files property in Notion, that's blank, and there's no URL for it. So effectively, I'm missing key information about my interview. And if you're working on a book and you've got a personal life and a day job, you could easily forget to do that. So I've added a database view specifically for missing sources. So if there is no file or URL, these are both blank. This just shows blank here. Oh, anytime I put in a URL, if I were to upload the interview to the internet, Dropbox or something, or even if I just uploaded an MP3 or a movie file or a transcript, I'm just going to here select uh, see file here. And this is just a regular zip file I have on my computer. Once that finishes, guess what? That record, that entry for that interview goes away on missing sources. Why? because wait for it, it's not missing a source. But if I go here to all data, guess what? It is still here. So now let's go back to the Inc. article here. And this is just a regular article. And I'm also going to, if I open up this Notion page, go down to a place where it might make sense, like, oh, I don't know, chapter five. So that's just one of the features in the Racket Hub product. I hope that you get a kick out of it. Thanks.